All right, guys, here is a full rundown of how to use your fitness app to log your food. So when you log into your fitness app for the first time, um, you're going to be taken to this home screen right here. And in order to do any action, you're going to click on this circle with the, uh, the blue circle with the plus sign in it right here. And that's going to pull up these options right here where you can look at your workout plan, log an activity, log a meal, record a progress photo or record a body stat. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna be looking at the meal recording option. So we're gonna hit that middle circle right there with the fork and spoon on it. This is going to bring up this menu right here, which will allow you to take a picture of your food if you want. It'll also allow you to log a pre-saved meal right here, where you can add a meal. So if you're eating something on a regular basis, say you have a regular breakfast over and over again, or a similar lunch, you can add that meal and quick add it from here if you don't wanna to have to add it individually each time. Right here, you can also log snacks or other meals. So if you've eaten something frequently in the past, you can re-add that meal. Now back to adding the first meal right here. So you can take a photo or not. If you wanna skip the photo, you could load a previous one or you could take it here, but I'm gonna actually skip for our purposes right here to adding the food. Once I skip here or I've added that, it's gonna bring me to this menu right here. In the top right hand corner, you can see I have the option to scan a barcode of the food in front of me. So you can always scan that barcode. But if I don't have that option, I can manually find food in here. So I'll type in something like bread right here. And that's gonna bring up some options for bread. So I'm gonna to try to find the option that makes the most sense um, for the food that I'm eating in front of me. If it's a packaged food, you can try scanning the barcode as well to populate this. Once I find the option that makes the most sense, I wanna make sure that I click on it and set the serving size appropriately. So I can select whether it's ounces, grams, and then the number of servings right here. So that's where I'm gonna break out my food scale or measure it, right? So once I've chosen the option I want, I'll click this plus sign right here, and then I'll hit next. And that's gonna add that menu item to the food right there. So I can always go back and add additional foods, right? By clicking here, add additional foods to this, like that add that food to the menu right here next and now my meal has these two items total right here once i've done i've added all the items that i want to for the meal i can select whether this is my breakfast lunch dinner or a snack and then finally hit save on it right there like that and this will save the meal to my daily intake and if i wanted to i could always save that meal as an ongoing or recurring meal as well so that way it could be saved here if I wanted to build a recurring meal, I could add a meal here. Once it's saved, then I can always bring it up in the future. So this is a pretty simple and easy way to track your food. Again, um, this is going to be in your fitness app. If you have any questions about this, make sure to ask your trainer as they can help walk you through the process.